Pupils are placed on a literacy withdrawal rel if their data indicates they would benefit from additional support. We use a range of test score indicators to effectively target pupils and then tailor the support they receive. They are withdrawn from non-core subjects once a week for an hour session to work either with myself or Mrs Harris, our literacy LSA. We also have two additional members of the English department who also run withdrawals, Mrs Williams and Mrs Carson Thomas. We group pupils in small groups anywhere between two to five and they are with pupils of a similar ability. During withdrawal time, pupils work on a variety of targeted reading, spelling, writing, punctuation and oracy activities to improve their overall attainment. Each weekly session will focus on a different area of need to ensure your child is constantly engaged and challenged. Sessions include a variety of short and sharp activities to improve confidence and increase engagement. On the whole, pupils enjoy coming to literacy and this is a contributing factor to the success of our intervention programme. Pupil progress is monitored closely by myself and spelling and reading tests are taken in September, February and again then in July to track and monitor progress throughout the year. If we find sufficient progress has been made by your child, whereby their reading and their spelling age matches or exceeds their chronological age, then they will then come off our withdrawal system. In light of the pandemic, keeping our pupils safe remains our highest priority. In order for us to limit pupil movement and mixing, we currently withdraw and group pupils from the same teaching class. This allows us to track pupil movement and avoid additional mixing between groups. This ensures we are keeping everyone safe, as well as providing your child with the support they need in order to achieve their potential. Reading is of paramount importance as it forms the building blocks to access the wider school curriculum. As a result of this, it remains a key focus within our literacy withdrawal sessions. With regards to reading, there are two important elements. First, we have reading aloud, the oral skill, whereby pupils pronounce words correctly, whether they can pause at correct punctuation, are they able to read with fluency and then expression as they become more confident readers. But there's also the other side of reading, the processing skill, whereby we need to assess how well pupils have understood what they have read and their ability to process and retain information whether they can infer and deduce information from texts. Can they organise events and form opinions? And it is both these elements of reading that we focus heavily on within literacy withdrawal sessions. Spelling is another key focus within our literacy provision. And in order to improve people's spellings, we revisit letter sounds and patterns using the Phonic Rocket programme. Here we have our Phonic Rocket. We start at the bottom of the rocket, recapping initial letter sounds, and move further up the rocket, becoming more confident spellers. As you can see, we revisit initial sounds, um, CVC words, consonant digraphs, consonant blends, end clusters, vowel digraphs, and so on. The idea is that we build pupils' confidence gradually in order to make them more able and confident spellers. The literacy support your child will receive is tailored to their individual needs, whether that is solely spelling, reading, or possibly a combination of the two. Below you will see a list of activities that pupils also carry out within literacy withdrawal sessions. As part of our literacy support that your child receives, they will also receive Rapid Plus. Rapid Plus is a series of finely levelled books and software developed to improve reading at Keysage 3. Each story contains a fiction and non-fiction element that are devised to be read in approximately 15 minutes and they contain both comprehension and, and spelling activities. Our rapid reading programme is an excellent resource and it helps our struggling readers as the texts are visually appealing, 
engage in and they also use a specially designed font which is approved by the British Dyslexia Association. The online software has a read to me feature to enable pupils to recognise word sounds. Our rapid reading programme can also be accessed at home using the school logins. Another benefit to the online software is that it is linked with our account so we are able to monitor what pupils are doing at home and how well they have answered the questions in the comprehension tasks. Every child in Comtawi takes part in ERIC, Everyone Reads in Comtawi. Once a week, at least, registration time is dedicated to reading. Each form has their own ERIC box filled with new copies of enjoyable fiction and non-fiction texts. However, if your child is currently reading a book at home, then we encourage them to bring this in to read this instead. Parents often ask how they can help at home, so I have put together a list of 10 different tasks that you could possibly adopt to help your child with reading at home. Now the first one is read aloud with your child and possibly take turns reading sentences from a text. This will help them to improve their pronunciation of words and will also help them with words they are struggling with. We find the children often want to reread a text they've heard read aloud and this approach enhances your child's ability to read aloud accurately and will enhance their fluency, expression and sound knowledge. You could also adopt our reciprocal reading approach. Question your child on what happened in the text. Get them to ask the characters questions. Ask them to summarise the events in the text. Ask them to clarify what certain words mean in the text. Ask them to clarify the meaning of specific sentences and so on. This approach enhances your child's understanding of what they've read and it also allows you to see how well they've processed what they have read to you. Make sure your child has access to a variety of reading material, not just books, but e-books, newspapers, magazines, biographies, blogs, comic books, etc. Be a model reader. It is beneficial for your child to see you reading for pleasure or for different purposes. Return to a favourite. Now this is a favourite of mine. Allow your child to return to a favourite book from time to time. This allows them to relax and enjoy reading and it builds their confidence and it gives them more encouragement to try something slightly more challenging next time. You can also encourage your child to read for information. Encourage them to use the internet or library to find and gain information on a topic and cover answers to questions they have, broaden their knowledge on current affairs or historical events. You can also encourage reading before bed. Not only does this introduce a routine, but it also helps them relax and unwind and it's reinforcing this message of reading for pleasure. You can also encourage activities within the home that require reading. When you're out shopping, ask them to read the shopping list aloud to you. Possibly if you're cooking or baking together, ask them to read the recipe. Or possibly read in directions whilst in the car. Or if you're lucky and they're helping you with DIY, ask them to read the instructions. These are all useful everyday ideas that promote and help with reading. The next two strategies that you can adopt are linked with spelling. Now our Comtawi spelling strategies are outlined in the additional resource provided to you by Mr Rogers along with this PowerPoint. You can also visit Spellzone to create personalised word pattern revision lists that are tailored to your child whereby they can revise the sound and word families. Thank you for taking the time to listen to the information regarding the literacy support your child receives here with us at Kumtawi. If there are any other questions that you have, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me through the school. Thank you.